Morning everyone, it's uh, Butler's Day Out again. Me and Kelsey tomorrow, Kelsey, we'll show you in. Hi. Driving as ever, and location to be confirmed for today's Butler's Day Out. And the day begins now. A little hint for, for everybody, where we're going, there is a castle. We're not gonna have a, a model village incident of Lydney again. I know for a fact, it's factually accurate, that where we're going, have a castle. Now, since the last time we did this Butler's Day Out, something drastic has happened. Um, young Kelsey Demaria, he got got himself a girlfriend, didn't he? You know, I found out he's uh, <coughs> seeing a lovely lady called uh, Ashley, and originally I thought, you know, he messaged me going, oh, I'm seeing Ashley, yeah? And I thought, why is my brother Ashley in Gloucester? <laughs> Not to say that Kelsey and my little brother wouldn't be a, a nice couple, but... Yeah, I think we do know, all right, mate. Yeah, delighted to, to see he's uh, doing well for himself. But there's been questions thrown at me that Kelsey isn't as committed anymore to Seven Sport. So we're going to put that to the test a little bit later on. So I have got a quiz lined up <laughs> for Kelsey Demaria, the driver, to know whether he still has it, whether he still knows local sport. It's quiz time, Kelsey. On Tuesday night, we, you and I, were at Brimscombe and Frupp versus Binfield in the Perpetua Press Floodlit Cup. Unfortunately, Brimscombe and Frupp were beaten 4-2 on penalties. What was the name of the Binfield player who scored the winning penalty? Uh, Ian Davis. Incorrect. It was left back Charlie Tuttle. Oh, yeah. You've gone around this roundabout twice now. Yeah, I missed the exit because you distracted me. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, question two. In the same game, who wore the number eight shirt for Brimscombe and Frupp? Jack Holland. We have a correct answer. That's one and one. Third question, and this one's probably the easiest of the opening round. Unfortunately, a Gloucestershire player was forced to retire at the age of 25. But who, name that player, please. Ethan Moore. It is Ethan Moore. Kelsey takes the first round 2 1. We're back for rounds two and three. In just a bit, and it's going to get a lot harder, so you're in for a tough ride. Thanks. Round two, Kelsey. Okay. After the quiz, you took round one, two to one. We're going to step it up a notch and we'll have a Gloucester Northern Senior League special. Give me the L right now, mate. In Division One, who currently is bottom of the league? Uh, I don't have a clue, mate. Quenchley Wanderers. <laughs> it's Leonard Stanley. In Division One again, which side has scored the most league goals? so far this season? Is it A, Welland FC, B, Tuffley Rovers Reserves, or is it C, Upton St. Leonard's? Tuffley Reserves? The correct answer is, it was A, Welland. Oh. Division two, everyone knows, Wollaston, uh, about eight points clear of everybody else now. But who is currently second? Is it, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we discussed this on Tuesday. We did discuss it on Tuesday, that's why I'm asking this question. Charlton Civil Service. Side. Correct. Yes. You lose the round 2 1. The decider coming up, ladies and gentlemen, here on Sun Sport Butler's Day Out. We're getting nearer to our destination as well. 10 minutes away. 10 minutes away, the driver says. Look at the state of that in front. Boats ahoy, mate. Did you have them at Brimsley on Tuesday night? It was very wet. We got very, very wet at Brimsley on Tuesday night. There's loads of boats, mate. Look at a rust bucket. Falling off, man. Sat now has gone. Sat now has fallen off. Jesus. We're going blind. So Kelsey's pretty miffed. We just had to pop a Yui down a, a country lane. It's your it's fault. It right? is my fault. It is, it is. Shall I just keep going straight? Yes, that's what you said. <laughs> right. And he went straight and we realised we'd left where we're going. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thank you, man. See you later. There's, there's some sheep coming up. <laughs> Kelsey's really excited about. Hey, there's hundreds. Yeah. Look at them. Stop honking at the sheep. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? So Kelsey's still pretty angry. We were out of Oxfordshire and <laughs> we're in search of a castle that now doesn't exist on my Google, when earlier this morning it did. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it doesn't exist anymore. This place, like, <laughs> uh, this castle, right, 
is just the name of a pub. I'm telling you now. That's all it is. But we're going to a local castle and it's just around a corner. I ain't seeing a castle. <laughs> we'll go where the sat nav takes us. What sat nav? On my phone. There's, mate, there's, there's no castle. Right? We'll find a castle. I'll find you a castle. We'll Alright, that's a guarantee. <laughs> guarantee in a castle. Look, look at the there. There's definitely a castle here. Mate, I'm. There is a castle, I'm telling you. There is no castle in sight. Good things come to those who wait. There's a church. It's a castle coming up, mate. Why would we waste our time at a church? Wow, that's so rude. Look, <laughs> oh, well, religious people, you've just offended by <laughs> saying that. <laughs> well, when there's a castle on show, I think it's justifiable. Mate, there is a castle. We're going to go to one. It's going to be great. And then we can go watch some football. And, well, we've got to get something to eat as well. That's true, I'm stuck. I smell a castle. Nothing, mate. I can see for ages. And because you were distracting me, we've taken a wrong turn. Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. So, castle update. What castle? There's no castle, Ryan. There's nothing, mate. We've driven through two villages now. Apparently, the destination was on the left. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's no such thing. As a castle for where we're supposed I've never to go. been in a car with someone so angry at me before in my life. <laughs> oh. Let me uh, turn the camera to myself. I mean, we don't really plan these trips. <laughs> I mean, you can tell that. Um, Google said to me, as a castle. I'm blaming the tax dodgers on this one, I'm afraid. Oh, we'll find something to do. Bear with me. Let's go. Um, Chelsea. Uh, yeah. I just um, googled Ardley Castle again. It was demolished. What? <laughs> it's been demolished. Demolished. It doesn't exist oh anymore. Oh God! For God's sake, man! <laughs> Do you not? <laughs> so we've now got. <laughs> we've now got. About three hours. Three and a half hours to kill <laughs> to in a place kill. where there's nothing to do. And according to uh, Wikipedia, there's about 750 people that live there. <laughs> Why have you done this to me? <laughs> Wipe me up at half a Hey, I said let's leave later. I think for the moment we need food. Yeah, we'll be had. Find some food. <laughs> but we haven't seen a shop in about an hour. <laughs> oh. Lovely day for it. At least it's not raining. Come on, Kels, there's always, a, always an upturn to this. So, uh, Kels is still pretty mad, as you can uh, imagine. We're going on a tour of Oxfordshire to find some food. What a perfect time to have round three! I don't think Kels is in the mood for it yet. Kelsey? Yes. Round three is seven sport content rounds. Question number one. In January's team of the month, who was up front with Jay Mauschensky? I haven't seen it, mate. I'm going to say... I don't know, so I'm just going to say Craig Martin. It's incorrect. It was Shane Bradley. Ah, that's my other guess. Team of the month goalkeeper for January was Lewis Clayton. It was confirmed this week that he is departing from Bishop's Cleeve. Where is he heading? Which country is he heading to? Is it Australia? It's not Australia, it is Sweden. Means you have lost the quiz. That's not fair. But I am willing to give you one final question. Double or quiz question as much as putting everything on the line. If you get this wrong, you have to pay for my food at the pub. I mean, if you get this right, I pay for myself, you pay for yourself, I'm not paying for you. <laughs> but if, I, if, I, if you get this wrong, you've got to pay for my food. All right, okay. On Tuesday night, we saw a penalty shootout. Yep. How many penalty shootouts have I seen this season? So from, what, July? Since pre-season. Since pre-season. Four. He says four. It's bloody correct. <laughs> Unreal. So disappointed. I'm more. I, I'm almost disappointed to find out Ardley Castle was demolished, yeah, and not actually existing. But you but knew that already. You got me under, yeah, under false pretenses. I kind of did. Well, we're in the pub, Ryan. What have you got to say for yourself? Um, it hasn't turned out as I planned last night. I've had fun. 
I think Kelsey's had fun really. About this castle then, where is it? I mean, I did promise a castle, didn't I really? You did? Ryan, what, what are you doing? I don't like lemon in my water, so... <laughs> but I eat lemon. You're so weird, mate. <laughs> I'm eating worse. Oof. Ryan, thoughts on the food initial? That's what I need to say. Look at that amazingness. Still um, preview into Butler's Bites that we'll be filming <laughs> coming up towards the end of the season. Rating the best food of Gloucester ground, so God impress me. God impress the big man. I mean, the empty plates say it all. Ryan has absolutely put away his burger. Oh, yeah. Thoughts and opinions on your buttermilk chicken burger? Ryan? I was saying as I was eating it, like, if you had uh, described in the menu as burger sauce, but it was like homemade, so it's more tomato y it's less the, you know, standard burger sauce you get in like, fast food chains, things like that. I mean, I could eat it again. <laughs> if I called another one out, I'd eat it again. Easy. I'd pan chair and uh, they fell in love. Lovely little town here, girls. Yeah, beautiful. Still can't go over that burger, mate. Buttermilk chicken burger. <laughs> a Jacob's plow. So, we had a look around the town and all roads point to one. You know, I've had a fun day. I think you've had a fun day. We'll touch down when we're back at the stadium and, you know, we'll see what happens from there, mate. And we've arrived. As you probably would have guessed by now if you've uh, been watching all the way, Ardley United FC. No castle in sight, but we do have a Ryan Butler. This is it. This is the setup. Ardley United versus Long Levens. Brian Butler is way to my left. Main commentary from the man himself. Team sheet started to fly away again. I mean, look, I mean, it's not going to stay like this at all. I mean, it's just for now though, it will do. Maybe they'll they'll look at it and say, yeah, we've gained a point here. But when you go three two up away from home, it does feel like two points dropped. In the grand scheme of things, where where Tuffley potentially are getting a point at Ascot, from what we know, we don't know yet what Abingdon have done today if they've had a game. So, in the grand scheme of things, it could be one of those points where you look back on at the end of the season and say, do you know what? We could have lost that game as well as won it. And thanks for joining us here on Seven Sports Saturday Live today. A reminder, Lewis Spurrier for his debut performance for Long Levens gets the man of the match. Um, we've witnessed a great game. We'll be back again uh, with a game next week. I, I think I should be, weather permitting, at King Stanley versus uh, Barmage United tomorrow. But we'll sign off after seeing Ardley United 3, Long Levens 3. Bloody football. Bloody football. Well, been here I've been here twice now. Sort of six goals per game. Not a bad little record there. I think Long Levens will be disappointed, but at the same time, as I said, could be the one to look back on and they survive because of it. So, yeah, I think it's been a good day for everybody, despite no castles.